Hi everyone! This is a video tutorial on the mechanism for the conversion of an oxime to a nitrile using the Beckman rearrangement. So if we take a look at this mechanism over here, we're going to start out with an oxime. This oxime would have been derived from an aldehyde, and we've got our catalyst and acid. So the acid catalyst is there because what we want to do is create a good leaving group in this OH group, and you do that by protonating it in acidic solutions. So over here, what we're going to do is, using the electrons on the oxygen, we're going to go ahead and take a hydrogen off of the sulfuric acid, protonating this OH group here. So now we have H2O, a positive charge on an electronegative oxygen. That's not a really comfortable place for the oxygen to be, but that does allow for then oxygen to be kicked off pretty readily. So it's a really solid leaving group. And what's going to happen now is that this hydrogen here is going to shift up to the nitrogen above, and when that shift happens, we are then able to kick off this H2O. So we have water now kicked off, and we have this nitrogen now attached to that hydrogen. Now the important thing to keep in mind is that this carbon in the process didn't gain anything. All it did was lose the electrons that it was sharing with the hydrogen because this hydrogen acted as a hydride. We have a hydride shift happening over here. So this H shifted up and this carbon was left with nothing, which would then mean that we have a carbocation remaining in this position over here. So what's going to happen is this water molecule that we kicked off previously in an acidic solution would be willing to be protonated. So it's going to come and steal that hydrogen. So we have our hydronium formed here. And then the electrons that were contained in the bond between the N and the H will now come and be pushed down to form a triple bond. So there we have the carbon-nitrogen triple bond, which is our nitrile. So this is the mechanism that would take place if you were starting with an oxime that had one H group and one R group. 